Today we're going to learn about lifelines. Lifelines are used to protect a climber from falling or to hold a climber that has fallen. Lifelining can be done a number of different ways. On Oxalis tours, we usually operate the lifeline from the top of the climb using a Petzl Grigri. When using a Grigri, it's important to work out the climbing side and the brake side. Put the climber's end of the rope in the climber's side and the brake end through the brake side. Attach it to the carabiner. Check that the carabiner is locked. Visually inspect the grigri to make sure it's properly applied. And then pull the climber's side of the rope to ensure that it locks up. Lifelining relies on using friction to control the rope. In an emergency, you can use an Italian pitch, which also demonstrates the principle. So when we're life lining, we have the climber's side and we have the brake side. At all times, we must control the lifeline with the brake side and never let go of it. So when the climber's going down, we can simply feed the rope through the knot and it falls through. We can then slide the hand down and repeat the process. At no point must I let go of the brake side if this knot will continue to slide out of control. We need to make ourselves safe at the top of the pitch. So we use our cow's tails to clip into the chain. Next, we're going to prepare the rope. So first, we put a stopper knot at the end of the rope so that this will not come through the gree gree accidentally. It's important to pay out all the rope, make sure there's no knots, inspect the rope for any damage, and so that when we are lifelining, the rope will pay out nice and smoothly. When we are ready, we attach the lifeline to the climber. We do a visual and function test of all the equipment. Position ourselves safely so we can see the climber and the ladder. When descending, it is important never to let go of the brake side of the lifeline. We will concentrate on feeding the lifeline into the gree gree. What we don't do is allow the rope slide through our hand and we don't have great control. So we always feed the rope into the device. Use only a thumb or a finger on the cam so that in the event of a fall it will take our thumb off. If we use our full hand and grip it tightly, if the climb was to fall and we were not holding the brake side, then the rope would go into free fall. So only our thumb not the full hand. So as the climber continues down, we maintain control of the lifeline, always in control of the brake side, never let go of the brake side. When you want to lifeline a climber from the bottom to the top, it's important to follow a series of commands. Right below! Taking in. Climb when ready. Okay. To prevent friction damage to both the rope, the lifeline, and the ladder, it is possible to put a deviation by using the carabiner on the end bolt. This just directs the rope clear of the ladder prevents any damage to all of the equipment and the lifeline. When the climber comes to the top, simply control the lifeline as before, but if necessary, pay a little bit of slack so that they come to a place of safety before we take the lifeline off. Alternatively, we can unclip it from the deviation. 